Good evening and uh, welcome to one more talk in our alumni lecture series. Uh, we have been very fortunate to have some excellent speakers in this series and uh, uh, the trend continues with uh, today's speaker, um, uh, Mr. M.G. Ambi Parmeshwaran, Ambi to his friends. Uh, although he doesn't want us to publicize it, he is Dr. Parmeshwaran. He just rec recently received his PhD, but he, I think, wants to downplay it a little bit for now. Uh, but we are very happy to congratulate him on his um, PhD. <laughs> He's also a, an IAM graduate. Uh, he is CEO and Executive Director of Draft FCB Olka Advertising Mumbai which is a member of India's third largest marketing communication organization, the Draft CB Olka Group. He is a chemical engineer from uh, IIT Madras. How many of you are chemical engineers? Anybody here? Good. So now you know that there are other career options for you besides core chemical engineering. Um, so he has uh, had a career that spanned three decades. He has handled assignments in marketing, sales, advertising, with uh, several companies, um, and then joined RAPS FCB Alka. And um, he has had a key role in the transformation of Alka advertising with interests in media, consulting, digital, advertising, and healthcare. He has helped build numerous brands, Digeen, Brufen, Suntour Soap, Sundrop, Sundrop Cooking Oil, TCS, ICICI Bank, and so on. Uh, in addition to that, he has also been very active in terms of uh, publishing papers and books. He has six books to his credit, including um, FCB Alka Brand Building Advertising, Concepts and Cases, Understanding Consumers, Building Powerful Brands Using Consumer Research, Building Brand Value, Five Steps to Building Powerful Brands, which is the winner of the 2007 NTPC DMA Book Prize. And his uh, books are extensively used in marketing and advertising education across business schools in India. Um, he is a member of the Board of Governors of IAM Calcutta since 2007. He was uh, awarded the Distinguished Alumnus Award from IIT Madras in April of 2009. Um, and he has been a a friend to IIT Madras for several years. His company has uh, done a lot of work with us. When we had our Pan IIT 2008 meeting on campus, uh, his company played a key role in all the uh, advertising and publicity associated with this event. So, you know, Ambi is a, a longtime friend and collaborator with IIT Madras, and I'm very happy to invite him to present his talk this afternoon. Thank you, uh, Professor Nagarajan, for inviting me here. Um, I think it takes a lot of effort to get uh, people to one agree to come and speak, and I think it's a bigger challenge to get people to come and listen. So I, I envy your position, uh, uh, and uh, so I've, I've kept my talk to about an hour, and I, I see a lot of senior. Uh, alumni here, including a lot of my very dear friends from my batch. Uh, I've targeted this based on what uh, Professor Nagaraj told me, I've targeted it at the younger audience. So, for those of you uh, from the senior alumnus batch, a lot of stories I'm going to tell uh, are going to be probably too mundane or too simple. Okay, so, please forgive me for that. This is stories are aimed at the, at the younger people. So, this is what I am. I'm a VTech from here. And thank you for interrupting. And what do I do for a living? Uh, so what I have uh, put together is a, you know, our agency. I joined Ulka Advertising about 24 years ago, and I've been part of the growth story of Ulka for the last 24 years. We are a 50-year-old agency, uh, and uh, last year we celebrated our 50 years. So instead of trying to tell you, you know, what we do for a living, I thought I'll show a short film we made to celebrate our 50 years and what does Ulka mean and what does it do uh, for its clients. So I'll play a, a little film. Hopefully audio will play. 
we will find out Socialism was under threat from a man named Bal Mulko, who launched an ad agency called Ulka with a decidedly capitalist mandate. Making brands famous and making clients rich. like a Rolling Stones riff. Rock and roll was in, brass were out. The decade also saw the emergence of John Travolta, who made white pants cool. Uh, well, not that cool. In this part of the world, the release of Sholay finally gave the ad industry something to spoon. And the agency called Ulka continued doing what it did best. Making brands famous and making clients rich. got its soundtrack. It is also the decade of disasters. All the spirits looked at one they what aired. Anyway, back home, millions of Indians were given undeniable proof of God's existence. And all through this, the agency called Ulka was still doing what it did best. Making brands famous and making clients rich. आओ बेबी आओ अरे तेरी शादी में तो पूरे पांच सौ की चूड़िया पहना ऐसा ही होता है त्वचा से मेरी उम्र का पता ही नहीं चलता नाइन्टीज वॉज अ डेकेड ऑफ रैपिड प्रोग्रेस Eastern Europe said niet to the Soviet Union. Dolly the Sheep was cloned in a historic first step towards making men redundant. And Michael Jackson turned white. In other news, Viagra was launched months before Bill Clinton was impeached. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Back in India, Bombay had become Mumbai and Ulka had become FCB Ulka. Still doing what it did best. Making brands famous and making clients rich. It's the right time of day to soak up the sun. Let's get out there and have some fun. Ooh, nice. We want a sizzling party. Who'd like to get naughty? Uh, I think uh, maybe we should try the beach cafe. You gotta be down. And so came the naughties, the decade of cool websites. YouTube that blurred the line between celebrity and idiot. Facebook that turned friends into an asset class. In popular culture, Paris Hilton became famous for, well, being famous. And the legendary Nostradamus returned as an octopus named Paul. Back in India, Didi LJ was still running. Ekta Kapoor's Bahus was still fighting. And Sachin was still batting. Worldwide, FCB merged with Draft to create a whole new kind of organization. And in India, the agency now called Draft FCB Ulka lived up to the new credo of creativity with accountability by doing what it did best. Making brands famous 
and making clients rich. Sadu, H for Hitler, A for arrogant, R for rascal, I for idiot. That's right. Now write Sadu, S for uh, shameless. When life can change in seconds, why pay in minutes? Pay per second, only on Tata Docomo. Which brings us to 2011. What will this decade bring? Will 2012 prove the Mayans right? Will the tiger make a comeback? Will Saif and Karina marry? <laughs> only one thing's for certain. Draft FCB Yulka will still be doing what it does best. Making brands famous and making clients rich. So that's that's what I do uh, for a living. I work with clients. Uh, our agency does ads, and we help and make those brands famous and help and make our clients rich. In the process, we also get some of that glitter on ourselves. Okay. Uh, so, from the day I passed out of uh, IIT Madras 1977 till today, a lot of things have changed. And uh, with you and I went around and we were discussing something, and I thought I should share this. Uh, you know, it's, it's become a lot more greener today. Uh, campus is a lot more greener. And uh, I'm told because of the greenness, Professor Nagaraj is saying that. The, the topography of the place has changed. Uh, you know, this is originally an arid land, which was actually a grassland, which uh, supported a lot of deer. Now the deer have reduced, and therefore there is an issue. But uh, which was telling me that the number of monkeys have gone up. Okay, so yesterday I was at a Bombay Chamber event, and uh, uh, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev was talking, and he told a little parable, which I thought. Since there are a lot of monkeys on campus, I should repeat this parable. You would have heard a part of it, but you know I'll tell you the full story. So this is about a hat seller in the 19, year 1920-1930, and, and he had a whole lot of hats to sell. And he sold some hats, and the balance hats were there in his bag, and he was tired. He sat under a tree. He opened a little uh, bag. of. He had his lunch. He ate his lunch. And then he felt very happy, he went to sleep. And he woke up, the hats were missing. Okay. We know the story. So he said, oh God, where have the hats gone? He looked up. All the monkeys on the tree were wearing hats. So he put his head out, hand out, shouted. They also put their hand out and shouted. So then he jumped up and down. They also jumped up and down. So then he said, OK. He took out his hat and threw it on the floor. They all took down their hat, threw it on the floor, he collected all the hats, put them in the bag, and he went home. Right? We all know that story. Right? So that's 1930. So like the Ulka story, you know, 30, 40, 50 years later, uh, another hat seller was selling hats. So he felt tired at the end of a busy day. Afternoon he went and uh, put his bag of hats under a tree, opened, this time he had got a nice fancy lunch box, he opened it, had his lunch, fell sleepy, went to sleep. And uh, as luck would have it, when he woke up, the hats were all missing. So, and then he looked up, saw the hats, all the trees there. So, he decided to do a little bit of a jive. No modern type dance. So all the monkeys also did one modern type dance. I said, okay, good. 